I hope you have Kleenex on hand because this is going to be a special edition of our Try Not To Cry Challenge. All of the videos today will be emotional moments from Disney Pixar movies. Oh no, I feel like my makeup's kind of on point today. I'm not one to show emotion, so this could be tough. So basically this is how it'll work. After each video, regardless of whether or not you cry, you'll rate it on a scale from one to five based on how emotional you thought it was. Last time I rated everything pretty much a five because it was all so sad. Uh, where's the tissue at? Now Woody, he's been my pal for as long as I can remember. You think you can take care of him for me? Okay then. No. 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 <laughs> oh man. This moment is more of a heavy hitter in the context of the movie it comes in. And now the toys are being given away. But it's literally all of them. Like he's not even keeping one. Well now I gotta look up because then that stops the tears from falling and then it also stops you from crying. Okay. I'm good. That was so sweet because I did have context because I saw the first couple Toy Stories, you know? I did the same thing, but I didn't like stare for long, like longingly and be like, the loss of my childhood. Like I was just... I have tears in my eyes. I don't know if you can tell because I have this like eye whitening eye drops in. <laughs> So I was not anticipating this. I'm so just I think like he knows that they're alive. <laughs> All right, so on the emotional scale, where would you rank this from one to five? When you're just watching it by itself, it's not emotional, but you know in the context of the movie and like the whole series and the buildup, it's really emotional. So I'm gonna give it a four. So it's like a two. Two, why two? Well, it requires a lot of backstory and knowledge of the characters in order to really drive it home. I honestly give it a five. I think it's more of just like the feeling knowing how their story went on for so long and he has such a big connection with Woody. I think that's what it is. I'm just gonna roll with a five. Corey, don't oh, no. Five. Just get inside you right now. <laughs> mom in a Disney movie, you know you aren't making it out. <laughs> it was really sad because like his mom's dead, but also there are more tragic mom deaths in Disney movies. This is a three. I'd probably give it a four. I think because the scene happened so quick and you don't, you didn't get, really get invested with who Coral was or anything like that. So I don't think it hits me as hard. I forgot about the part where we see his wife's dead body. <laughs> Just this blood splatter across the inside of the Coral. I was thinking, oh no, is that what happens? I don't remember that part. So it was like, it, she's gone. That's awful. The piano music comes in and like the piano is just tugging on the heartstrings and him picking up the the fish egg that it, we know will become Nemo. It's 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 like a two and a half. It didn't make me cry for one reason only. That might be the 13th millionth time I've seen it. For me, a two. I don't know, like I'm not a parent, so I can't relate to that one as much as I could the other one. Obviously that is Tragic. That one I'm gonna say a three. Come on, Joy, one more time. I got a feeling about this one. No. Take her to the moon for me. Oh. Okay. Okay, this, I was just like, aw, oh, they would do something like this. Oh. Oh. They killed Bing Bong. 
I feel like my heartstrings are tugged at from like a 30 second clip, that's a five. Cause in the movie I'd cry. My eyelashes are holding on for dear life over here. I don't even know what I would do in that situation. I can't leave you, like I can't. I'll give that one a three as well. I got Misty. That's not a cry, there's no tear. So let's just calm down. But uh, I'd say that's uh, four. Just that quick flashback was all you needed to just go, ooh. I think it's, Probably a three for me. Like it still hits you, but this not too like crazy. A uh, four. You know, it's so sweet. Cause clearly, you know, I think he got left behind and he sacrificed himself for her. <sighs> Love Monsters Inc. She is the cutest, most adorable little character. That's what every girl's room looked like, I feel like. Like those little chairs with the hearts in them, every little girl in like the 2000s had one like that. Nothing's coming out of your closet to scare you anymore, right? Uh. Yeah. Goodbye, boo. Kitty. Kitty has to go. No. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see the scene where she opens the door and he's not there. <laughs> no. No. I hate you guys. I want to win this challenge. It's so hard. <laughs> I think it's a five. It's like you want their friendship to keep growing, but it's like, it's true. Like he can't be with her and she's just a little girl. She's going to grow up and like, ugh. I'd say a three, which is interesting because I used to think that was just heartbreaking. And I still do. That was a five. I'm smiling to keep from crying. And the coping mechanisms are so real. It's not even funny. Don't hate me. I'm going to give it a three. Because it's like sad. And I know in the movie it would have been sadder. But I don't think even if I'd seen the movie, I would have cried. I'm going to go with a three. It's sweet. It's just nostalgic for me is all, you know. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Coco in general is just a masterpiece. Eyes each a different color. I saw this in a the theater with other people. <laughs> that was a fake cry. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> Wait, what happened? He's been forgotten. I just have to go with a two because it didn't make me cry. I didn't know the context of it because I haven't seen it, but let me tell you. That line, fierce. That one's really sad. Like, yeah, the concept of being forgotten is terrifying. I think in the movie it was sadder. And so I'm gonna give it a two. I'll say this one's like a three. It's so sad because like, that's the reality of so many of us. Like, obviously we're all gonna die one day. Not everyone can be remembered by like everyone. I think it's the five and not necessarily about the characters, just the meaning behind it. It's really sad knowing that there's a lot of people like that in the world, they just literally don't have anyone and they're just forgotten. That wasn't long enough of a moment. I didn't even get, I'd say one for that one. Uh, I'll go with you. You know you can't do that. I know, but I'll go as far as I can. Kind of dressed like a millennial at a coffee shop with the fedora and the clearance. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was probably a very sad moment in the movie. And two. <laughs> I don't think they're dying. I think one little soul is gonna go to Earth and like probably get a human body. That one gets a three. I don't know the full context, so it doesn't hit as deep. But the little hands drifting apart, like that's so sad. Why does Disney always do these like letting go scenes? I hate that. Like Disney's good at like making scenes like it's not gonna be a happy ending, but then it does end up being a happy ending. Like this is the way it has to be. I feel like Disney's always really good at making those types of scenes. They're probably just a three. I'm gonna go with a zero on sadness for me. Because while it is very emotional scene, if I remember correctly, she was like, I ain't going back. There's nothing good about living, blah, 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 right? So to see this, it's clear she found something that was good about living. And so she was going to earth to be a soul and live, right? Uh, the verb live, right? And so to me, it's not sad, it's inspirational. Oh, you didn't cry, so you won. Yes!
Pixels. Bing Bong, almost gotcha. Bing Bong was close. You got Misty. Finally, Disney Pixar movies are definitely known for tugging on people's heartstrings. What do you think it is about these movies that tend to make them so emotional for so many people? I just feel like the way that they tell the story really like reels you in and then that obviously brings your emotions into it too. They show human emotion in such a way where it's like even though you know they're not real, they just know how to exude it and the voice acting is just phenomenal and it just all kind of blends in together with the animation and just creates this memorable scene or whatever you want to call it. When it finally comes time for a character to say goodbye at the end of a journey or it comes time for like you to say goodbye to a character because like they sacrifice themselves, they you know it's it's just their natural like end. It's so so much more heartbreaking because you've, you've already like you were invested in this world and you're invested in these characters. Disney Pixar movies have this way to transport you to a different world and like you almost feel like you're in there with these fantastical characters. By the end of a movie you're basically friends with the Pixar characters you know. Thanks for watching this episode. We'll be in tears if you don't subscribe. What Disney movie always makes you cry? Let us know in the comments below. Bye kitty. See you never. Bye bye.